Hi guys, and welcome to the StroPro device firmware upgrade tutorial. So if you're interested in upgrading the firmware on a flash, a controller, a strobe, um, you can do that. Uh, you're just going to want to go to our website. Uh, you might be on this page already, but if not, just go to stroprocom and then under the help desk tab, you're going to find firmware upgrade. And that's this page here. So if you're observant, you'll notice that I'm using a Windows 10 system. Uh, if you're a Mac user, unfortunately, we're told that you're not going to have an update utility, at least anytime soon. Uh, we do rely on Godox for these updates, and uh, apparently it's just an issue with the way the file system works inside the devices. So it is what it is. It's kind of unfortunate. Uh, if you are a Mac user, hopefully you have a friend who can lend you their PC for a few brief moments. As you'll see, this is a pretty quick process. First of all, take note of our disclaimer here. You really have to be careful when you're updating the firmware on your device. Uh, a mistake could be kind of costly for you. Um, but if you follow my instructions carefully, there shouldn't be any problems at all. So uh, first thing you're going to want to do is check for the device um, that you need to update. And uh, that's going to determine which of our upgrade utilities you're using either the StroPro Godox G1 or the StroPro Godox G2 utility. Uh, today I'm going to update an X60C flash and also an X600 Pro battery strobe. So let's, let's do the X60C first. That's going to use the Godox G1. Um, and I'll know that by scrolling down here looking for the X60C. And there it is. X60C. You'll also see the Godox equivalent model um, in parentheses in case you happen to have a Godox flash instead. So uh, yeah, we're going to need this utility, so go ahead and click and download that. Uh, sorry, actually this is just a reference file, not the utility, but we will need that. Um, I've already downloaded it, but click that download button if uh, you happen to be doing the X60C as well, otherwise find your device. And then uh, this one's going to require the G1 um, utility. So download that with this button here, um, G1. Um, so here they are in my downloads folder. Nope, that's not it. Downloads. There we go. So uh, there's my G1 utility and then uh, the reference file for the uh, X60C. Now these are archives, so you're going to need to extract them. Uh, you need a program to do that. Uh, my recommendation would be 7-zip. You can just Google 7-zip and find it and download it. Once you've installed that, you can go ahead and right click on the archive. You'll see some options for 7-zip. I'm just gonna go ahead and extract them here. So I'll click extract here. And then I have to do the same with this one. Zip extract here. Okay. So here's our application. This is the Godox G1 software. When I open that up, yes, just give it permission. Gonna to need to install it. You can read through all the legalese there if you want. And just pick an install location. Doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna go through this quickly. You're gonna to have to click install anyway. And it made a little desktop shortcut for me. Let's open that up. And this is what it looks like. And Godox by default will have the program in Chinese. Let's click English. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to need that reference file. So I'm going to click Select File. And again, let's go back to our downloads. That's where we had that. And here it is, the TT685C, otherwise known as the, our Strobe Pro X60C. And inside you'll see the reference file. This is an FRI type file. That's what the G1 software uses. I'm gonna click open. And you're gonna see it says loading completed. So now I actually need to plug in my device. And here's when you're gonna to need to check what type of cable you need. Um, the X60C uses a micro USB cable, but some of our other devices like the X600 Pro I'm going to do in a minute here, uses a USB type C cable. So you'll have to find one of those. Maybe you happen to have one for an Android phone or something already. Anyway, uh, let's plug it in. Okay, that's done. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click connect. 
and uh, it looks to have connected. Uh, one thing actually you need to do if it's, if it's having trouble connecting is you remove any types of batteries and uh, you just, you're going to want to turn on the power switch. Um, if, if it's got a soft switch, like a button to turn it on, you just hold the power button for a few seconds. That's going to get rid of any charge that's remaining and allow it to connect. Uh, so now that I'm connected I'm, and I've got the file selected, I'm just going to click upgrade. And it's as simple as that. So you're going to want to make sure to click disconnect. Now you can unplug the device. If you happen to have another X60C here, you can plug that in. And you can uh, go ahead and just click connect and then upgrade again. So if you have multiple uh, devices that are the same, it's kind of quick to upgrade them. Um, all right, so that's the G1 utility. Um, hope that was helpful. Let's move on to the G2 utility. Okay guys, so we're back on our website here and I've scrolled down to the G2 software. So um, yeah, I'm gonna need the uh, G2 install, um, the installer here for the utility. And then of course I'm gonna need the reference file as well for our X600 Pro. I've already downloaded those and installed them. The procedure is very similar to what I showed you before there. So let's not uh, waste your time with that. But yeah, now you're going to see our G2 software. Let's open this up. There we go. And it looks a little bit different, but it's kind of similar. So I've already got my X600 Pro plugged in. And you're just going to see this no matter which device you have. Um, it's always going to say STM device in DFU mode. Uh, again, if it's not saying that, you might need to discharge the device like I mentioned before. Um, but that's all good. So now we're going to go select file and I'm going to find my reference file. And this is a DFU um, type file, AD600 Pro, that's what we want. I'm going to open that and it says file correctly loaded. So I'm simply just going to click upgrade. And yeah, this utility takes a little bit longer, but there we go, it's done. And it's telling you just to verify that it's successful. You don't need to click disconnect or anything in this program. You just unplug it, check it, make sure it worked. So that is that, guys. I hope it was helpful. Uh, of course, if you have any questions, you can uh, drop us a line or send us an email. And uh, until next time, this is Kevin from StorePro.